Good morning, everybody. Happy Wednesday. It is March 25th, and I just have a few things I want to talk with you about, and then you can get on with your days. So I just want to mention the locker cleanout email and voicemail that went out this morning. So our team's time is Friday from 8 a.m. to noon. And I will be sending an email with um, just some more details and some clarifying pieces of information that I think will be helpful for you. I will be at Asia Middle School, and I, I look forward to seeing some of you as you stop in and pick up your belongings. Um, what I do want to get into now is just talking about the work. And I know that last week's work and this week's work is optional, but there are two things that I need you to um, to look at and one thing that I need you to do this week to prepare either for distance learning starting next week or if we're in school, we're still going to be doing activities tied to do these two things. So I'm just going to minimize my face here, my video, and the information I need you to be looking at here is in Schoology. So the first thing I'd like you to do is to go into the um, work March 18th to 27th folder. And what I need you to do is I need you to open up the writing and email assignment and go to this link, the Grammarly.com blog. Because of the work that we're going to be doing both online and in class, if we are in school next week, connects to writing a proper email, please take some time in the next couple of days, if you haven't already done so, look through the anatomy of a good email section, okay? And make sure that you understand each of these four pieces. It's super quick. And, and easy to read. Don't worry about the mistakes in emails. I just want you to know about the subject line, openers, body, and closing. So please take some time and read through this for the work we're doing next week. The next thing that I really um, need you to do and be thinking about doing is Flipgrid. So when you go back into the Schoology course and you go to the Flipgrid link, Depending on your hour, it gives you the code and there's an email, or I'm sorry, a video um, for you to watch to show you how to walk through signing up. And then I would like you to do the, um, the prompt that is in there so that you practice using Flipgrid. That way, if you have any tech questions in the next couple of days, I can answer those and get those taken care of. Um, because like I said, whether we are distance learning starting Monday or if we are back in school starting Monday, we are going to be doing these two things. We're going to be working on writing an email and we are going to be using Flipgrid. So please, even if you're choosing to not do any of the other optional work, those two things you're going to need for the work that we're doing next week. So just make your lives a little bit easier. So I'm going to end the video now and I will be sending out an email with this video link and with um, just some more information that might help with Friday's locker cleanout. Have a great day and please remember no shenaniganing, perpetrating evil, wreaking havoc or purveying mayhem and please don't forget to come back.